Here are 10 settings to change when you get your Galaxy S22 Ultra. Okay, I'm gonna start off first with my absolute favorite one, and this one might blow your mind. So you're gonna swipe down, go to your settings, then you're gonna scroll all the way down to about phone. Then you'll tap software information, and then find the build number and just spam tap it a bunch of times until it turns on developer mode. Then you can go back, back again, and now at the very bottom, you'll see developer options. So in here, there's just like a bunch of more in-depth settings, but today we're gonna look for the animation scaling. And so right now you can see that there's three animation scaling options and they're all set to 1x, but we're gonna change them to 0.5x. And so now all of your animations, like, you know, when you go to your recents or you go home, it just happens twice as fast, which is pretty cool. Okay, number two is a pretty simple one. So you're gonna bring down your notification bar, swipe down again, and then tap the three dots on the top right. You'll then tap quick panel layout and change the brightness control to show always. And so now when you just swipe down one time, you'll already have the brightness slider there and you don't have to swipe down again to access it. All right, number three has to do with sound. So you're gonna go ahead and swipe down with two fingers. That's gonna bring down the quick settings panel automatically. And then you're gonna find Dolby Atmos and turn it on. Now this usually doesn't make a massive difference, but it can make your speakers sound a little better. All right, for number four, we have a camera setting. And this one is very important if you wanna make sure to utilize that 108 megapixel sensor on your phone. So open up your camera app and by default, it's gonna take a picture with 12 megapixels on your main sensor. So we're gonna have to change that. So by default, this option on the top is at three by four, which is 12 megapixels. But if you tap it, you'll see you have this option on the top left for 108 megapixel three by four. And that's how we take 108 megapixel photos. Now it's not always best to use 108 megapixels because it is going to be worse in low light, plus it takes up a bunch of storage. So it's really only supposed to be used for very specific circumstances when you want maximum detail, but it does work really well, so. It's fun to play around with. And for number five, we have another camera feature, but this one has to do with the camera editing app on Samsung. So you have your camera app open right here. So tap the thumbnail on the bottom right to open up your camera roll. And then you're gonna tap the pencil icon to open up the photo editor. And once it's open, you're gonna tap the three dots on the bottom right, and you're gonna see an option called Labs. And when you open up Labs, it's gonna give you some options to enable some additional settings. Now, right now, it looks like the settings they're having is Shadow Eraser and Reflection Eraser, but these are always changing as Samsung is testing new features. And so now that these two options are enabled, I can actually access them in the photo editor. And so again, we're back in the photo editor, so we're gonna tap the three dots on the bottom right, and these two new features can be found in the object eraser section. And so now you'll see we have erased reflections and erased shadows. Now we're up to number six, we're halfway done, but we got five more. And for this one, I actually have something to do with the screen. And you might know that the S22 Ultra has a 1440p display. However, that is not enabled by default. So we're gonna swipe down, open up the settings. Then you're gonna scroll down to display. Then you'll scroll down to screen resolution and you'll just change it to 1440p. Now this will affect your battery life, so just keep that in mind. If you want your battery to last as long as possible, then, well, don't set it to 1440p. All right, stay in the settings for number seven because this one is also in the settings. So you're gonna scroll down until you see advanced features and open it up. And then you're gonna find side key. So by default, when you double press the power button, it opens up the camera, but you can actually set that to open any app that you want. And so if you change that setting to open app, it'll then prompt you to choose an app that you want it to open. And I typically use this for Samsung Pay because it just makes it super easy to access Samsung Pay. And I don't like the default where it makes you like swipe up for Samsung Pay, but that's how I use it. All right, number eight. And this one has to do with the flashlight. So by default, your flashlight actually isn't as bright as it can get, which I don't know why that is, but we're gonna fix that. So swipe down with two fingers and find your flashlight and hold down on it. Now to actually change this setting, you do have to turn your flashlight on. I don't know why, but that's how it is. And you'll see it's on a level three by default. So just bring that to level five and it's, it's brighter. <laughs> they do give you a warning though that it can cause like skin burn if you have it close to your skin for too long. I, I guess that's why they don't have it set on max brightness by default, but like, 
Bro, who's getting burned by a phone flashlight? All right, we're almost done. Two more, number nine. And this one is finally a feature to do with the S Pen. And you know what? I just realized I had two things I wanted to share about the S Pen. So this is gonna be a kind of a double for, for one. So first up, when you open up the S Pen menu, you'll see that there's an add button. So tap that. And so now in here, there's some extra features. And one really cool one is the magnify option. And so you'll just tap magnify. This is very hard to do when I can't see. Oh gosh, there we go. And so now when you open up that menu, you'll see a new feature called magnify. And it's basically just a magnifying glass wherever you hover the S Pen, which is pretty cool. Okay, and now for the other S Pen setting. So by default, when you take out the S Pen, it brings up this menu, which I don't like. So I want to not have it not do that. <laughs> so you're gonna swipe down and go to settings again. Then you're gonna scroll down and go back to advanced features and then you're gonna find S Pen. Now in here, there's a setting called when S Pen is removed and we're gonna change that to do nothing. And so now when I take out the S Pen, nothing happens. And then if I wanna open up the menu, I just tap the button on the S Pen and then it opens up. And now, number 10. Now this one's pretty cool and it has to do with your notifications. So instead of receiving normal notifications, you'll receive better ones, I guess. <laughs> so again, we're gonna go to the settings, then you're gonna go to notifications, and you're gonna change this from detailed to brief. And then we'll go to brief pop-up settings and edge lighting style. And now there's a bunch of settings in here on how to change the edge lighting to look however you want. So there's a ton of different ways that you can receive notifications and it has that light go around your screen, which is pretty cool. And that's it. That is the 10 settings that I think you should change on your Galaxy S22 Ultra. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you did enjoy it, feel free to leave a like on the video. It would be much appreciated. Oh, and by the way, we gotta do our emoji thing. So if you made it this far in the video, if you comment a turtle emoji, a turtle emoji, then I will like your comment. And maybe I'll reply too, who knows, who knows? But you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.